Latest rumors surrounding the iPhone 15, which again, we're not near mass production, there's still a lot of time for things to change, but a fairly reputable source, Shrimp Apple Pro on Twitter, told us that Apple is looking to redesign a little bit and refresh the look of the overall chassis, which I'm kind of excited about because I get so kind of tired of design iteration, like same old, same old, just with little tweaks here and there, and arguably this is still kind of just a little tweak, but there's like a pattern emerging that I'm starting to pick up on, and I think Apple is finally gonna make it full circle to where, you know, originally they started with a rounded back and flat front with the original iPhone, and they carried this kind of design language even onto the 3G in 3GS until the iPhone 4 came around, which was a lot of people's favorite design. That was the squared off edge design, flat back, flat front, and they kept that design going until the iPhone 6, which still I think is the longest running chassis design with a rounded front, rounded back. They kept that going all the way until the iPhone 11 and then iPhone 12 came around and they went back to the squared off edge design And for the 12 13 and 14 it appears they kept that flat back flat front design going now Continuing in this loop Apple might finally return to what the original iPhone was the way Steve intended it a rounded back with a flat front Now, Of course, there's a lot more design challenges involved with this one because Apple likely wants to keep their glass back design to allow for MagSafe and wireless charging But it's a little bit trickier to have the glass back mold into a steel or even titanium back That's rounded off But I think with the frosted glass that they've been shipping on their pro iPhones for years, there's probably a way you can eliminate that seam or at least make the seam where the metal meets the glass a lot harder to notice. And the reason I'm excited for this design trend is because I think it would objectively make the iPhone a lot more comfortable to hold. That was honestly, if you go back and watch my iPhone 12 Pro review, the first iPhone I didn't recommend, I did think it looked better. I think the flat glass is a lot more sleek and modern looking than the old iPhone 11 or iPhone 10 design. But objectively, Objectively, whenever I pick up an older iPhone with a rounded chassis like my wife's iPhone SE, I immediately notice how much more comfortable it is in the hand. It does not have that sharp cut that we've had now for three generations of iPhone. So in my view, I think Steve Jobs was kind of right to ultimately when he had the theory that it would be best for the display if the front was completely flat and best in the hand if the back was rounded off. This matches my favorite chassis design from my favorite Apple product right now, the 16-inch MacBook Pro. Rounded bottom, easy to pick up, but flat top, which is good for thermals, good for manufacturing efficiency, and good for the viewing angles of the display. The main reason I thought Apple was comfortable ditching the rounded back in favor of the squared off edge design was for one, it helped with the 5G ultra wideband modems, the Apple Pencil 2 connector looking things on the side of iPhones. If it's completely flat, it's very easy to embed those modems inside the phone. And Apple probably knew that it was a bit less comfortable in the hand, but over 80% of people are probably using a case anyway and if you're buying a leather or silicone apple case or even a clear case that makes it a lot more comfortable in the hand so the way that bare metal cuts into your hand is probably not that common of a issue for most people anyway but I still think that optimizing the design so that everybody regardless of what kind of case they're using or if they're using a case at all will be comfortable holding the new iPhone and I think that would definitely make it easier to use with one hand for extended use as these iPhones continue to get heavier and heavier and heavier, especially with the rumors that the camera is supposed to get, of course, even better with the iPhone 15 series, which means it will likely be even larger with the camera bump growing like a tumor across the back of our iPhones. That's going to add to the overall weight. So if you keep that sharp edge design on the back, that will make it increasingly less comfortable for extended use. I like design symmetry, so I'm in favor of the iPhone looking more and more similar to the MacBook Pro. I like the frosted glass design and I love the concept art that people have come up with where you just have this matte finish all the way around the edge of the phone. Honestly, it reminds me of the original iPhone so much and it makes it feel like the iPhone has come full circle. But the question still remains, if Apple wants to refresh the iPhone look and make it look more modern and slick, how long can they keep this going, right? Like many were assuming the iPhone 15 has to be redesigned, right? Because the iPhone 12, 13, and 14 all had the same chassis design and Apple tends roughly to be unlike a 
three-year redesign trajectory where every three generations of iPhones they update something but I had a hard time believing that trajectory was gonna keep up because the iPhone 10 was technically like three years after the iPhone 6 but the big redesign was not necessarily with the chassis it was more so with the display and you can't redesign the display to like get rid of all the bezels get rid of the home button switch to OLED like you can't have that many big changes every three years so my thought was that they were just gonna keep the squared off iPhone 12 through 14 design going but shrimp Apple Pro appears to think that this is the refresh Apple is moving towards and will likely be the chassis design for another three generations of iPhone but then the question remains does the circle reset does this imply that the iPhone 18 will return to that original rounded off iPhone 6 chassis design that Apple kept going until the iPhone 11 I wouldn't be entirely against it if they can get the bezel size down but how do you guys feel about Apple kind of consistently switching between all of these different chassis and is there another design you think Apple should go with that's different from these main three they keep switching between do you like the look are you in favor of it are you against it all that good stuff let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and thank you to everybody who's signed up for Talos of Tech Pro who is willing to support this channel directly during the off season seriously helps me out a ton and makes this dream job a reality so thanks again and this is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you all in the next one.